The classic tank watch. You know the kind of thing I'm talking about. Cartier designed it. But do you know where that design came from? It's a fascinating story. And I'm going to introduce you to a man you probably know. He's fascinating in himself. I'm bound to say that because he sat next to me. It's Jonathan Scatchard. He's going to tell us all about the tank watch. Good to see you, Jonathan. Hi, great to see you again as ever, David. Yes, I know. Tell us about the tank watch. The tank watch is one of the most famous designs very simple design it doesn't really look like a tank when you think when you look at it but when you see how louis cartier designed it imagine looking down on the top of a world war one tank because he did this in 1919 as a as a thank you gesture really to the to the um manufacturers of the tanks and so he took the the, the tracks and looked down on it so you've got the base of the tank itself and the two tracks running either side of it once you've got that in your head and you see it, you don't forget it because that's that look that he did and it's lasted forever. It's one of the most iconic watches you'll ever come across. And prior then to Cartier design that, that tank shape, that typical rectangular shape, were, were, were any watches on the market that looked a bit like that? Strangely enough, the other one that looked something like it was a watch that he made for a pilot called the Santos. And they did that in 1906 and it was almost unheard of. Because we think of watches from that period of the First World War as the trench watches, which were little watches with little pocket watch movements and wire lugs on them, just rushed out because they, that's what the soldiers wanted. So very, very basic. Whereas this, what Cartier did, because they're jewellers before, before watchmakers, they made it so sophisticatedly and so well designed. And the design has barely changed, has it, in what, over 100 years? Oh yeah, it doesn't change at all. And you think of the people that wore it and... It just became such an icon. We've got pictures of Valentino with one on. You've got Jackie Kennedy wearing one. Andy and Warhol. Warhol was one of the most famous to wear it because it was said that he never wound it up. He said, there's no point in one. I don't care about the time. It's, it's about, he just loved the aesthetics. And he was a big watch collector. Yeah. You know, you see the auction catalogues from when he died. It's, it's, it's incredible how many watches he had. But he always wore his tank and he's famous for it. And it looked cool as anything. And, and do you find even now today that a lot of people do buy watches because of the aesthetic appeal, as opposed to them being absolutely spot on accurate? I mean, our, our, our phones are... That's you know, the whole point. We'd all wear iPhones exactly. and all that nonsense if it was just about the accuracy. Exactly. If it was just about the accuracy, nobody would collect vintage watches, would they? No. But you think about this. There is something about winding a watch up, isn't there? Yeah, there's you a know, little pleasure and, there. And there is a little you know, pleasure. You see that pan sweeping on the, on the automatics. But the Cartier, it is a, it, it's a classic design, that tank. It's still, I mean, you, you, you sell them, a lot of yeah, them. Yeah, we all sell tanks if we get them. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. And there's lots of versions. You can get them in silver, you can get them in steel, you can get them in gold, you can get them diamond set. But just a nice, simple gold tank on a black strap looks great. You can't beat it. Yeah, it's exactly. Watch. Exactly. Yeah. And every watch collector in the world, serious watch collector, will have a Cartier tank. So should have one, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So there you go. That's the history of the Cartier tank watch. Let me know, did you know that? And also get in touch. Let us know what you think about that story. And if you have any interesting stories to tell us about your Cartier watch or, in fact, Anything else, Jonathan? Anything much related, we can try and help. <laughs> Get in touch. Great to see you. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Bye.